How you doing, everyone? Hope you guys are holding up okay after what's been happening in the market there. Please, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more content coming out, and get into the Discord. We have some massive changes coming to this Discord, so stay tuned for these updates. If you're in it, you're going to love it, and it's going to grow bigger and bigger and better. Big things coming for it. Bye, guys. Let's get into today's episode. Now, I know everyone's going through a bit of pain right now. The market's horrible. What happened yesterday with Terra and UST, they wrecked a lot of people. And this video, I'm trying to bring some love and fun back into crypto for you guys because it is disheartening what's happened and it is hard to deal with and cope with this. So you need some humor in your life. And this kind of explains everything happened to the market, to Luna and all our portfolios out there. And also, a lot of people's belief in crypto but please we can come back from this Um, well, that's exactly what happened, guys. The market shit itself. All right, everything is in the red. Everything, and, and it's not small little plays. It's look at this: minus forty-six percent, minus fifty percent, minus thirty-three percent. Man, these things are getting slaughtered. It is a horrible day in the market. I feel sorry for many people out there. My portfolio's been smashed. Other guys out there know they're getting hit hard, but the guys that have been in crypto for a long time. We've felt this before. So yes, I'm not going to say, oh, I love it. I'm happy it's happening. It's it's fucking sad. It's a nice way of putting it. It hurts you. But remember this. This is also very, very important. And you've got to realize this. This is not a joke. This is true. Okay? Tough time never lasts. Only tough people last. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you guys this because what is a joke, but it's straight from the heart. If you can stomach this, okay, you'll make it through. I was talking to a couple of guys, the first time in crypto here, they're earning their first stripe here, all right? Okay, in an army, you get your stripes, your badges, you're earning your first one. This is your first massive bear market where you've copped a huge loss. All right, and the ones in Luna yesterday, man, that was like almost unseen. That was crazy what happened to them. Whoever's involved in that, I feel very, very sorry for you being able to pull your profit out. It's it's a it's heartbreaking to see that. All right, like there's nothing else to say for that. I'm sorry if anyone's done that, but guys, this is crypto. That's why you do not put everything you have into one thing. You spread what you have over multiple portfolios, what you can put them into. So, you say you're in crypto, a couple of different assets invested in a bunch of projects. Invest in multiple ones. Don't just go. My mate said to buy this one, or Crypto Playboy said this is a really good one. Doesn't mean put all your money into it. You spread the risk. That's your best thing to do. And not only that, if you're in crypto, get involved in other things out of crypto as well. That way you're diversifying. So when the market here is crap, you're involved in something else that's bringing you an income in. You know, you got that passive income coming in. You got something to support you, okay? So when times like this happen, yep, it's going to hurt you. But you'll be able to stomach it, be able to make your way through it, and you'll come at the other end stronger. Another big thing to remember about this is, let's say you bought DOT. Okay, you bought it and you're all excited for it, and then it just starts dumping like it is now. All right, when you purchase this, it was already at a low compared to what it was before. All the time I was here, now it's here. Now this crash happened on it, we're here. A lot of people I know they start dumping and unloading because they think it's the end of the world. Crypto is never coming back. Okay, if you're one of those traders and you know you can make it up, you're gonna start shorting, you're gonna leverage here, you're gonna do. You're gonna be working night and day, making that gains back. That's what you're going to do. But a lot of guys that follow this channel, you guys don't do that. You still just get involved in crypto. The best thing you can do, this is from a personal thing. I've been hit off from this before and I've learned when I sell at a loss, you're selling an emotion because you think, oh, I've got to get out of this. But you know what happens? In a year's time, not even that, sometimes quicker, 
you look at what you sold it for and you go, I'm an idiot. I could have just held that. I would have lost nothing. And I've had more now. I would have been in profit. And it really hurts. So when you've got those major holds like that and you're sitting there with them, guys, the best advice I can give you is try find somewhere to stake it and hodl. All right? Say you're in a bunch of 100 alts and some of these are new coins. You know, there are shit coins that are out there and you're getting involved in them because they're low market cap ones. You go, this has got a chance to grow. Listen, some of those aren't going to recover in a bear market. Some of them never come back. But some of the other projects you're in, they will. They'll come back stronger and better than ever. Perfect example. Back in the day when I was getting Ether, you know, it was like 150 to 300 bucks. I was my buy zone through there. And I was like, yeah, I'm getting good price, buying, buying, buying. I was all excited for it. I was enjoying it. I was growing it. Market's moving, moving, moving. And what happened? It pulled back. It went back down to like $90 or $60. And I started panicking as well, going, oh my God. Oh my God. You know, the summer I bought a $300, it's now worth $60. What, what do I do? Do I sell? And I did close the computer. Don't look at it. And I go, go. Take your mind off it, sit outside somewhere, do something, go pat your dog, go for a push bike ride, do anything you have to do. Just get out there, clear your mind, then you come back and you apply yourself and you start learning. Every single day you get involved. If you don't want to trade, that's good. Start watching the videos. Start reading things. Anything you do, you can get involved in the market. Find out why these things are happening. Find out, okay, what's some other options I can get involved in now? Oh, you know what? Oh, look, the market's now coming back. It's been a couple of weeks. Oh, look. Where I bought it, it's back to it. I'm oh, back in profit. Oh, by the way, I was staking, so I've got extra ones now. You start doing this, it becomes a rhythm for you. So the next market comes around. When you're in that bull run, so I tell you, you pull profit because days like this happen. And that's when you kick yourself and say, I should have sold. I've got friends that are in the stock market. These guys are bragging to me saying, you know, I made all this money in stocks, made all this money in stocks. I'm like, oh, that's awesome, man. Like, I'm happy for you. It's good to hear. Pull some profit, guys, please. And the thing I hear from people is, oh, it can go higher. Yes, it can go higher, all right? But none of us are that much of wizards that we can predict. Yep, it's going to go this much more higher. Oh, it's going to go down and then it's going up. No, no, okay? It's all probability speculation on these. Pull some profit on it, please, okay? You have to pull profit. When it's in a massive profit like that, you pull that profit. You pull some out of it. All right, if you're not pulling it, keep some. That way you still got your bag you're holding, but pull some profit. Because when times like this happen, and this is all red, 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 the market's dead, the bear is bending us over and hitting us from behind very hard. It hurts when you have pulled nothing out. And you know what hurts the most? When you had that huge gains there and now you're in negatives. That, that, you start kicking yourself and your emotions will really hurt you. But another friend, he was doing this as well. This is a crypto asset. And I think it was trust swap. I was talking to the guy. He made a big gain. I'm like, man, man, you should pull out. Take the profits on it. Do it. He goes, no, 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 no. It's going to go up more. Within a couple of hours, it went down like 40%. And he's like, oh, I should have sold. That's what it is. Because when things are moving, it's hard to sell. Your greed says, no, no, I'm going to make more money. But everyone's everyone's guilty of it. You've seen it and gone, mm, a bit more. I'll get another dollar out of it. And then when you sell it and it goes up high, you feel real sad about it. Like, what, what do I do? I just made the stupidest mistake of my life. Well, trust me, you feel more stupider. When it goes down, you didn't pull any profit out. Okay? Pull some profits, guys. Don't, don't be afraid to do it. All the products you're in it for. You're here to make gains, here to grow in the crypto community, grow in the space. That's what you have to do. You've got to pull profit because one, it'll keep you motivated to keep learning because now you've got cash in it and you've got more money to buy back into coins in the low like this. And two, it sets you up for a good game plan to say, all right, turn off the emotions. I'm going to use my paper trade here. What's my rules? One, when it moves up, take profit. Okay. When it drops dramatically, stay cold, walk away. Keep learning. That's the best thing to do, guys. Panic selling, it, it, it'll kill your love, it'll kill your drive for this because you're at a loss. You're at a huge loss. Man, if you go back and watch my interview I've done with one of the crazy guys, explain to you what is his name? Sergi. Check him out. Watch his video. This guy has made a crazy shitload amount of money in crypto. And he told me, he told all of you guys in the interview, you should listen to this. The best way he has made his money in crypto has been holding. That's it. He literally sat there, he held, and long-term paid off for him. Ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, and in the end, it ends up higher and higher and higher. That's how he made his money. It's that simple. There wasn't no technicalness to it or anything. He didn't sit down trading, done all that. His money was made in hodling. That's what he did there. Do it, guys. Make some money in it. In the meantime, you pull some profits out of it, and you keep riding it up and up and up. That way, you do not lose on it. Please, it's just sending it home to you guys. 
pull profit on this. All right. Another thing you've got to be wary of. So people have been talking about the stablecoin UST. UST. That's the one that's kind of started this whole drama. Okay. This really hurts a lot of people. Terra USD. So we have normal stable coins such as USDT, USDC. These are known as like, okay, these are the alpha of stable coins. Please be careful because there is some talk, some issues with USDT about how they actually get their backing. You know, saying they got these guys over in China giving them billions of dollars as part of the backing. So that's why there's a bit of speculation on it and they had a bit of a pullback in it. So if you do have money in USDT, be wary that this could potentially have a bit of pullbacks. I don't think it's going to get as hairy as Terra USD did, but could potentially be there. You're seeing this pullback to 95 cents. Stablecoin should be a dollar. You know, sometimes it's going to be $1.001, 99 We've seen that happen and that, that's staple, okay? It's within reason. When you start to see this, people start to panic a bit. So please be careful of USDT. If you've got some money in there, maybe it's an option to try to split up a couple other stable coins. That way, if they do get hit, it's not all your savings in one stable coin. You want to be safe, spread that risk. Even in a stable coin, now we have to be. Now, this was very sad for a lot of people because these are known as an algorithmic stable coin. So other ones are backed by, you know, dollar for dollar value. These are backed with like an actual asset, like, you know, Luna, BTC, and it's traders. I've got a bots and algorithms running it for them. And it's basically the arbitrage trading. So if something sells, they've got to sell by, sell by, sell by to keep that balance of a stable coin. Now this got hit very, very hard because, you know, Luna's back to it. And what happened? Boom, 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 boom. It was a carry on effect. USDT, sorry, US, UST ate shit hard. And Luna just followed completely. And Luna, a lot of guys thought, okay, I'm going to jump on this and buy back in. And some guys did make a quick trade. When I was at 90 cents, I myself looked into getting back into it. I thought, okay, I can see this 90 cents. And I pulled back a couple of dollars in there. A couple of guys in the group were saying the same thing. But what happened? Binance said, sorry, you can't do this. Trade, no trading, no trading. And that's happened to a lot of people that got burnt last night. Was they tried to buy in with 90 cents, a dollar. Started to move. Very, very good. Went four bucks, five bucks. And people are, yes, I'm cheering. They went to do those trades. They weren't able to. They got locked out of it. So you can be really careful when something this big happens, like something the market changes that much, it loses almost 100% of its value in a day. You've got to be on your edge of your seat say, hang on a second. This ain't going to recover overnight. Like This is going to be a bit of a long-term fix for them. So even themselves, you go look what Luna's been doing. They've been printing their own coin to try balance out UST again to get things back to normal. So that means they're trying to recover the project long-term, but in the short-term, this is what happens to it. It hits a cent, all right? 99% of its value gone. You cannot expect this overnight to come back to its former glory of $100. So really, guys, be careful with Terra at the moment. Read some articles on it. Learn about what's happened with it. I'm not going to the full details on it. There's thousands of articles within a day what's happening with this. Understand what it is. Understand those algorithmic stable coins and see how they work. That way your mind's working on going, okay, shit. So this one, I'll tell you guys. Learn, 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 learn. What is algorithmic stablecoin? Okay, maybe I won't put my money in them for now. I'm a bit concerned about it, the market being down, pull my money out of them, put some other stable coins. Well, people, I know some people, they've converted their USDC into US dollar back in their accounts. That's always a safe option, they believe, because they see you know, US dollar as being the safe option because it's stable. But you know what real world currencies are like, things can go wrong too. So just always spread that risk around and please be safe, guys. Luna, if you're looking at buying it, Currently, you're in the gamble zone still because, like I said, they got a lot to fix to get their reputation back. So please be very, very careful if you're looking at Luna. Don't do anything stupid, guys. Do not play with emotions right now. If you've lost money on anything, even like you're holding a bunch of alts, any of these in here. I know I've been holding a bunch of these and it hurts. If you're holding them, don't try to earn your money back. All right? Shut it. Walk away. Have some new time. Then you come back to it with a fresh mind and learn, 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 learn. Get involved in it, understand markets, learn what's happening out there, understand what happened with this crash. Start reading theories on what's gonna happen with the market next, is gonna go sideways, it's gonna pull back more. We're gonna have a massive run up next, what's gonna happen? We're gonna let the dust settle after what's happened with Luna, USD crash, the dust settle with a massive market crash, like across the board, everything's down. Let the dust settle and come back with a plan of attack for it. Especially if you're new, okay, you're a new trader, you're a new person involved in crypto, Play it safe on this. This is your time to play it safe 
and think of a plan you want to do. Don't just rush in and say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do this, I'm going to short them, I'm going to long them. If you don't know what you're doing, don't do it. Leave that for the guys of your experience because you know what? Even they fuck up. All right? That's what happens. So don't be that person. Clear mind, learn, and take this. There's time to learn and reflect on what's happened. It's the best thing to do. All right? And that's why that pigeon's very important. All right? Pigeon dive down like this. You think it's over? The end of that video, the pigeon flies away, I think. Meaning, life is coming back to crypto. Please, guys. Take care out there. If you need some love and support, hop in the Discord. We will talk to you. We can bro hug it out, whatever you need. We're there as a community, okay? Anyone in crypto is feeling this. Even I got mates and they got a lot of money in crypto. They got burnt hard. There's guys that I know that lost a couple million dollars overnight. And you know what? They're still in good spirits about it. Now they know they've lost heavy, but these guys are still going, you know what? I love crypto. Nothing's going to change for that. Okay, this is a learning experience. You've got to be careful on things, but always keep an open mind. And the number one thing they've always told me over the years, spread your risk over things. Okay? Just because it's guaranteed everyone's talking about it, does not mean things can go wrong. And today, Luna was a perfect example of what's happened with that. Keep that in your mind, guys. Always spread that risk, please. If you ever need us, reach out on Discord. Talk to us in there. If you're feeling down and depressed or anything, hit us up in there. All the disciples are happy to talk. The guys in the group are happy to talk because you're all going through the same thing. You share those feelings, share those bonds, help each other out. That's what humans are for. Interact with each other, grow together, and we'll come back from this. All right, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay tuned for better days. We'll be back.